Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Zoya Juniper. I'm going to stamp with Snowflake Garlow. This is a new pixie dust from Zoya. It's called Juniper and it's duochromy. Very different. I was really excited to get this. So I'm going to go in with the first coat. I've already got my base coat on and let it dry down. And this is just gorgeous. Now out of all of the textured polishes I have ever tried, the Zoya ones are my favorites. Um, I don't normally wear them textured though. For me, the magic happens after you put that glossy top coat on. They're gorgeous textured, but oh, I had to tap the end there. They're just, um, you know, I'm always worried that I'm not going to let them dry enough. So, you know, I just feel the need to put that fast dry top coat on it. So we are going to go in with the second coat of Juniper. They actually had two new ones, and I got both of them, but this is the one I had to try. And it just doesn't show it on camera how gorgeous this is. It's like purple, blue, green. I always fill these in with the American Classics Jealous, just like I would a chunky, thick um, glitter bomb. Um, because those tend to eat top coats. You'll put top coat on, it'll look all smooth and glassy, and then within a few hours, it looks, you know, just like it sucked it all up and see it looks like perfect so I'm going to add some posh top coat because I want everything to dry down between all the layers before I do some stamping I, this is just the way I do it I, um, funny like that but I really did love this polish and I knew that as soon as it showed up in the mail whatever was on my nails was coming off so that I could try this one Look how gorgeous. I mean, they look gorgeous in their textured state, but I love them with top coat. There we go. I'll be using Beauty Big Bang. I think it's 014. And my Monocle Stamper, my Clear Jelly Scraper, and the Nicole Diary and SO1, the white stamping polish. And that is Beauty Big Bang 14. I love this snowflake garland image so much. I'm going to have to use it today. And it's just looking so pretty over that. I love it. <laughs> I just cannot help myself. I love Christmas manicures. I just love them. And this technically could be used anytime during winter. But for me, it's, it's considered Christmas holiday, seasonal, whatever. And I am back to using my monocle stamper. It helps me film better. It's so much easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So there we go. We've got it on the ring in the middle nail. And we're going to do this on the thumbnail. I am trying to behave because I still want to leave a couple of nails just Zoya just Juniper that looks so pretty I love it I am gonna go in with a piece of tape and get up some of this excess stamping polish off of my fingers and it's coming up really well today some days it does some days it don't depends on what's what's going on with my hands so there we go and I'm going to break out my little cleanup brush and do just a little bit of cleanup. I don't have much to do. But I do like to do it so that when I'm done, I'm done. I love this. There we go. Got a little bit of cleanup over here. We're looking pretty good. So I'm going to top this with the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. And then we're going to use Posh Top Coat. I'm pretty sure I used Posh. We'll see. Um, and seal it all in. But I always use these smudge free ones now that they have them. Yep, I'm using Posh. I just think that the um, smudge free, and I, I've tried the Bundle Monster or Maniology one, and now the Born Pretty one, so I'm sold. I don't really care who you get it from, but it's good stuff. That's so pretty. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you.